Hey there folks and welcome back to Walt Plays Amnesia Late Night Drink Selfishness and Knowledge. I think we should go for selfishness first. Let's go for it. Let's go for it! Alright, we took on fear, so I'm curious what else there is. Nope. Oh. I feel like we're way in one of those art films now. The, oh. This is... Yeah, after. I just don't know what to do. I'm at my wit's end. Caring for a child on your own is difficult. And you are mourning on top of it. It's understandable. I'm sorry, son. We'll make sure he gets a good home. Oh. I'd rather not talk about that memory. <sighs> Knowledge. Okay, so. Interesting way to start. Oh my. An exquisite library, I must say. See a book of horror stories on the table. Oh, I've read some of these. I wonder if I'll find my favorite. Horror story. The Thing in the Woods. Oh, dude, hang on a second. All right, well, it's not too long, so what the hell. I will use my public speaking chops and read this to you. Once upon a time in a small, quiet village could only be found small, quiet people. The people weren't small in stature, but in demeanor. The very few times anyone would happen into the village, either passing through or perhaps to trade, they would always note the same thing about the villagers. They kept to themselves, spoke in short, timid sentences, but above all, people noted that they seemed kind. They welcomed outsiders under one condition. Do not go into the woods. Most people wrote it off as local superstition. This is until one day a young man came to the village. He was a char charismatic man that everyone took to. Unfortunately, he was also very brash and ignored the warnings about the forest. He entered the place against the warnings of the local blacksmith, the oldest man in the village, and also one old enough to remember what happened to the last time someone entered the evil woods. He told the young man that an evil lurked deep in the woods that would possess and corrupt even the kindest soul, turning him against his fellow man. The boy laughed it off and left to see what wonders the forest may hold. He did not return for three nights, during which the blacksmith barricaded his door from the inside and urged the townsfolk to do the same. Unfortunately, time had faded hard facts into passing knowledge, then, then into whispering, whispered rumors, and finally into half-believed superstitions. The townsfolk worried about the young man, but partially out of fear and mostly out of disbelief in their own very own superstitions. They ignored the smith's warning. The third night came, and with it, evil. The blacksmith sna stayed in his workshop, barricaded and terrified, and listened as something entered the quiet village and slaughtered everyone within. Then there came a banging at his door. Though he knew it would take more than a man or even a beast to break down his door, he was still afraid. Until daylight finally came, and with it, the banging stopped. The unfortunate young man, possessed by a great evil, had left the village. However, they said that if you go to that village at night and listen closely, you can still hear him searching for his final victim, screaming madly, Where's the blacksmith? Where's the blacksmith? Was that a Markiplier reference? Ah, whatever. Let's go. Okay, well, that was fun. Let's see. Uh, I don't know why, but I'm not, I'm not even sure what I'm looking for. But I'm just kind of passing through, seeing if I can spot some items. Oh, I thought there was a lever over here. Uh, ooh. Well. Chest seems to be locked with four similar locks. Oil! Oh my god, I'm out of oil. There we go. Large oil potion. Thank god for that. Let's see. Well, that's one key. No. Okay. So now I need to search this place for four... Oh, dear God. Let's get a searching. 
Oh dear God, this may this may take a minute, folks. Please, please give me a slight moment. Let's see. Um. Oh dear God. This could take a minute. Um. Oh, I can move that book. Maybe something. No, nope, doesn't seem like it. All right. Let me look under the obvious. Let me look in the obvious places first. Like maybe over here. Is there one over? No, nothing in the painting. Oh dear God. Let me see. Opens. Oh. Okay, that was the cross I threw. It said four, right? So I need to look for four of these things. There you go. Oh. Okay, yeah. So I need to find a few more of these. Um. God, I'm not sure. This could take a while. This could legit take a while. All right. Well, screw it. Well, I'll give it my best shot to look for this thing because, frankly, I don't know how long this may take me. And welcome back, folks. Oh my God! Look at that. Look at that. This is actually the third key. I've I found all of them off camera because holy crap I'll show you the where they all are because this was annoying as fuck so the first one's right there let me show you where the second one I found was up here you go right here and that's where the second key is right on top of this painting your third key is actually probably the easiest to find it was right here uh, it was behind a cross probably this cross right here so See, right where this cross was, that's where the key was, and then the third was behind the goddamn curtain. I, I, I honestly searched this place, I think, for 20 minutes off camera before finally thinking, wait, this guy has the weirdest fucking hiding sense for shit ever. I gotta think like that. And I started, like, searching literally everything. Oh my god. What? Oh dear god. What do you got? Let me see. Strange enough. Amongst piles of seemingly meanest ramblings, you come across a curious line. Shield, shield, bird, shield, bird, bird. I have nothing to write with. I hope I remember that. On the inside cover of this journal, it, is said, it says, Journal of Private Vincent M. Sanders. A particular entry catches your eye. I had the strangest experience. We stopped off in a small village to resupply before heading out in the morning. The locals were surprisingly friendly. After dinner, we were invited to what I can only assume was a party of some sort. Most of the men declined, saying this typical macho shit designed to hide how scared they were to try new things. During the party, a pipe was passed around. I didn't find out until later that it contained a local plant called the Hakimara. One of the soldiers that came with me speak speaks a local dialect. From what you could gather, the plant contains properties that allow a person to transcend their physical form and transverse the plane between life and death. Hey, whatever they want to believe is fine with me. All I know is it gave me one hell of a trip. If it wasn't for the damn bag inspections the sergeant does every morning, I'd take some home with me. Hell, I might risk it anyway. Huh. Okay. Now what do I do? And that's not a joke. I don't know what to do now. Uh, can I leave now? No. Was there something else in that chest that I may have missed? I'm totally willing to believe this. Um... Wait. Shield, shield, bird... Wait. Shield, shield, bird, shield, bird, bird. Oh, here we go. Okay, so it was shield, shield, bird, shield, bird, bird. Okay. Oh, okay, so I can like shield, shield, bird, shield, bird. Something on the other side of the library just moved. Other side, like, oh, over here, you mean? Huh. Interesting. Oh, and crap. I gotta go around. That's annoying. Oh well. Oh, red room. Red. Oh, creepy. 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 Okay, and locked. Okay, open, open. Oh. Page found in the library's hidden room. Painting to rip from the journal you found earlier. 
It's been 24 years since she's she was taken from me. I'd be lying if I said I didn't try to move on. I'd be lying if I said I really thought I could. I don't know how hard it is for the other people. I can only venture a guess at the level of bereavement the average person may feel. For myself, however, something else hangs over me like an anchor, holding me down, holding down any chance I may have to escape this depression. The, ha the Hachimara plant. I had managed to convince myself all these years that what I experienced that night was nothing more than a mass hallucination brought on by a local drug. That the story traditions the locals claimed to be carried for an inornate amount of years, an amount that made no sense given modern texts on the history of the region, were nothing more than the driveling folklore of a black backwards community. The more I think back, the more I want to believe. I have chartered a flight to that region. I will gather as much of the plants as I can. It shouldn't be difficult, as stuff grows all over the region like a wildfire. Once I have returned, I can begin work on extracting the plant to a more concentrated form. I hold the tickets in... THE WINE! I hold the tickets in one hand as I write this. For the first time since I made my decision, I find myself questioning my sanity. Perhaps I am mad. A lunatic so grief-stricken that he's willing to do anything to be reunited with a loved one. I will leave the psych psychiatric evaluation to whomever someday discovers my journal. Probably along with my, twi my twitching, drooling body. Besides, what else do I have to lose? Anna was stolen from me, and I abandoned my son years ago in a fit of selfish rage. Any time I've ever thought of trying to track him down, I've only managed to remind myself how unfit I would have been as a father. The handwriting of the rest of the page seems jagged and rushed. I've made up my mind. The alcohol helped in that regard. I will leave tomorrow. It's raining again. Hmm. And, yep. Peace of the mind. Um, oh. Ah! <sighs> so, the plant turned out to be legit? Yeah, it succeeded in taking me to the other side like I intended. Then that's what I drank. Wait, are we being attacked if it's just an afterlife? Are we in hell? No, a place much worse. The plant was never meant for this. We were in a place between life and death where... Wherein lurks things much older than heaven and hell. Great, I just want some vintage wine. <laughs> Where we're going, we don't need eyes to see. Event Horizon. Oh my god! That that head appearing behind me got me so badly. I hate I hate this game. No, I love that. I love this custom story. It's amazing. The, the, this may be one. Of, this may become one of my top ten favorite custom stories ever. Oh god, I don't think I can count. Like I. If I had to count a top five, I think I could do that. Like, I believe I'm starting to piece together what happened here. You used a mystical plant, distilled it in a more concentrated form, and had an to have an out-of-body experience. But it was far too successful. I never dreamed that such horrors lurked in the void. All the more reason we need to hurry. Agreed. Okay, so... What's left? Confusion? A okay, confusion first. Anger sounds like something we should save for the end. Alright, confusion and... Whoa. Oh! The paintings are spinning. Um... Oh! Oh. oh. Hey, little baby grunt! What up? Oh my god, that... Okay, and hi. Ooh. It's a music box! Oh, that's nice! Will it burst into flames if I watch it long enough? The last one did. Anyway. Uh, confusion. Something seems to have slid out the front. Oh, did it? Oh, a key! Key from music box and uh here? No. Also, I'm, I was just about to waste my large oil potion. Oh, and oh, <laughs> it's the giant grunt again. Oh dear. We are in a very oh, it, it's little grunts. 
I am officially losing my mind. They're coming to take me away, haha. -ha. They're coming to take me away, haha. Hee -ha. hee ho ho. To the funny farm where life is. Did I actually use that key? Yes, I did actually. Ah, oh, crap. That means I need to find another one. Oh, what, what was. Right, you need to look everywhere for keys. I need to remember that. Can I pick up the. No, I can't. Okay. Can I. Look at the little grunt! Look at him. That's so cool. That really is. Okay, um. I guess I'll work through the only objects I can move and see and go from there. Oh dear! Oh! Holy crap! I don't know what that was, but I almost seemed to like jump a thousand feet through the air. This man is in with his insane hiding spots. I hate him. All right, let me go ahead and uh, can I? I can't jump up there. Okay, I can't pull anything down. Oh, oh, perhaps, perhaps something awful will happen. Oh, oh that's wrong. And uh, no. Okay, well, no, so much for that. Let's see. Perhaps maybe. Uh, nope. All right, one more, one more, one more, and damn it, that's the same one. Come on, come on, and oh, ah, oh god, I hope not. I hope. God, get the key, get the key. There we go. Curious key. Yeah, curious is a way to put it. Hi, gr Oh my, the the world is kind of. Is this room getting... It is. Oh! The whole room is smaller now. Hi! Can I still can't open that. Okay. The little chest like before. I wonder... Oh! The Donadums and Sandy Potions. I... You know, I imagine I've been taking potions I received from this area, but... Oh, hi! Oh, it's on your face this time. It's oh, it's in your face. I'm so sorry. Let me. Oh, uh oh. Hi. I'm just gonna walk out. Thanks for the key, and I'll catch you guys later. Hey, uh, yeah, we can. I'll see you guys for acapella practice later. Bye, bye. Oh, run for it. These guys were weird. Wait. Oh, I thought there was a different color, but now it's just... Hi, big grunt. <laughs> I love that big grunt. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hi. Hey, get back here. Don't you run from me. No doors! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh my. This is so cool. Oh. I'm gonna need a little more oil for this one, folks. Let's go. Let's go ahead and close this door now. Uh, oh, oh. Oh. Uh, paintings now. Okay. Uh, oh, branching paths. Let's go down. Let's go down. Let's see what happens when we go down. Oh, it leads us to oh, oil. Perfect. All right. Well. Make sure to go down if you get the chance. It pays off, apparently. I don't think I need my... Yeah, it's surprisingly well lit, despite how far... Oh, God. Climbing this is going to be a pain. Uh, this is so weird. I expect... I, I honestly expect the floor to fall out from under me any time now. Whoa! Hi, bed. Oh. And... Um... My um oh 
Oh! Oh! Oh my god! I, I didn't even know the amnesia engine could do stuff. Stuff like that. Oh, there we go. The room just. The room is spinning now. Yeah, let's go ahead and. What the. What the. Oh, hey! It's the piece of confusion! Goody! Wait, what? Oh, we're not done. Oh. Oh. Looks like I won't be going back that way. Not that I was aching to. Yeah, right. Then again, I... Oh. Oh, oh. Oh! <laughs> oh, dear. I feel dizzy. Chin up, we're almost done. I brought back most of your mind. You still don't know how to send me back? I almost have it. Just give me a little more time. Yeah, a little angry time. Alright, folks. Thanks for watching. Next time, we dive into anger. And I'm not sure how much is left, but uh, next time, I'm, we're c approaching the finale very quickly. If not next episode, it'll be very close afterwards. So, thanks for watching. I hope you all have enjoyed this descent into what is utter and pure madness. I'll catch y'all next time.